sort of as a girl, I feel much and better. I get a bit annoyed and angry because I don't like it and I can't control my temper very well. Can you remember when you were being treated as a boy, why you wanted to wear girl clothes? I wanted to just um, see how it looked and see if anyone laughed or not. And I would be happier then. Do you think as you grow up a bit, you might change your mind? Um, to be a boy again, no. How do you know? Because I sort of am a girl. I like girl stuff. I feel much and better. Well, this is my summer dress. Um, it's blue. <laughs> um, it has this ribbon, which some people tie at the front, but I tie at the back. When I went to school that day, everyone was saying, oh, hi, Lily, you look nice in a skirt. And then I was like, oh, thanks. Well, it felt a bit natural but mostly embarrassing because <laughs> the tights were making me itch a lot. It stopped becoming embarrassing after a while. It feels a bit different but mm, mostly the same because I just got on with it like I did when I was a boy. When I get seven more sets I've got 20. Mm. So that's one. one she had quite a few times sort of in the run-up to that said I want just want to be a girl I want to live as a girl and I guess we'd always kind of thought you know we, we I suppose we were trying to eke it out as long as we could really the next day my husband went to pick Lily and her brother up from school and Lily's teacher called my husband over and said just to let you know Lily has told us all that she wants to start living as a girl she just kind of ran ahead with it really we were a little bit like oh okay this is actually really happening um <laughs> why are you giggling and uh, well <laughs> this used to be me me as a boy i stayed a long time until i'm a girl and then i'm happy 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 we then had a skirt day as we called it skirt day where the head teacher did a, uh, an assembly to talked about people being different and accepting people's differences and then the younger children went out. She showed a diagram of what it means to be in a boy's body but have a girl's brain and that, that Lily has chosen to now be Lily in school and will be wearing skirts. Yeah, Lily came into to school after the assembly everyone clapped you didn't they Lily uh, which was which was nice so they all sort of clapped you and everyone was supportive weren't they um, um I was like um, well I was a bit scared and I was like oh they're all clapping me and they was like thanks a bit confusing because it's like when she was young when she was a boy one day 
we were in a shop and she said, Mummy, please can I buy this pink pretty dress? And I was like, hang on, you're a boy. And like, I, I just got really confused. It's like nowadays, I'm fine with it really because it, it's not confusing or anything at all anymore because I'm used to it for, it's just normal. So when, when Lily was a boy, when she was much younger, did you used to play much together? Was she a kind of typical boy? I mean, you talked about the pink dress, so maybe not. Like, I normally ask her to play like army men with me and things, but she says, I don't really want to be a pirate or an army man. She says, can I be a fairy princess that can fire lasers out of a wand or something? So she's kind of a bit like, um, she's still got a bit of boyness in her, but not in, in a way. Not like you. Yeah, not like me. When I'm in the middle of a video game or something, she just switches music on upstairs and she starts dancing and doing ballet and things. How are people at school? Well, at school, everybody's fine with it now and they know. They used to ask me before we started assembly, why does your brother like girl stuff and things? But I would just say, because that that's how she is and things. And it's just, everybody's fine with it now. Do you miss having a brother? In some ways, yes, in some ways, no, because when I said play armies and things, and I dress up as an army man and she dresses up as a fairy, it's still okay really, because I, I don't really mind what she dresses up as, and so yeah, that's, that's fine. How proud are you of your sister? I'm very proud from what she's gone through, and she's doing really well at the moment, and nobody's bullying her or anything, so it's fine. How much do you love her? Sometimes she can be rather annoying. Hey, that's brothers and sisters for yeah, you, isn't no, it? Yeah, I exactly. I bet she says the same about you sometimes. Yeah, she would do. <laughs> but then, really, we all like each other overall, so. Few. Yeah, few. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, ooh. Straight up to number 30. Can I ask you about skirt day? <laughs> They'd had an assembly where they talked about how everybody's different. Yeah. And you weren't in the assembly though, were you? You and your brother. No. And how's it been at school since that day? Really good. Really good. It felt like I was born a girl, but I wasn't actually. And after skirt day, how many more girls wanted to play with you? All of them in the class. What was that like? Really, like, I couldn't decide who to play with. I just played with all of them in the end. Oh, that's lovely. And that meant, from that day onwards, you could use the girls' toilets? Yeah, it wasn't... I don't think it was on skirt day that I used the girls' toilets mm. because I didn't need it that day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if... Everybody treats you like a girl now, calls you your girl's name. People at school, friends, family. Can you even remember being a boy? Mm, not really. Mm. Did it seem like a long time ago? It, it seems like never. Does it really? Yeah. And what do you think about when you grow up? What do you, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Mm. I was planning to be a lady and, and a girl, and that's what I want to be. Can you tell me about the day when you were walking to school and you were wearing a dress for the first time? I felt really nervous. When we walked through the school doors, the office assistant said, Hi Jessica, and um, Mum was really shocked. 
in a good way. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. And how did you feel when she said, hi, Jessica? Oh, like, so happy. Why would being a boy make you unhappy, do you think? It feels like I'm in the wrong body. I felt really like kind of upset because I want to be a girl. I wanted to change my name for good, so I asked mum and then she said, okay. I feel really glad that I don't have to do boy stuff. <laughs> We got my ears pierced on the last day of school. You're allowed your ears pierced in school, but you're not allowed any other sort of jewellery. I just wanted to look like a girl. I wanted to do it straight away. Well, it's starting to get a little difficult. She's had a really good year. School's gone really well, and now she can get her name changed legally because we've got her dad's permission. It's a really big deal for her, but um, she's been having nightmares um, mm. and um, just that she's going to die a man and that she's going to have a beard and she's, you know, she's already started requesting blockers, but um, that's... I kind of thought we'd have a, another year of things being quite yeah. straightforward before puberty hit, I think, really. Yeah, I think um, just dealing with it as, as we go on because, you know, things can change so quickly. As a girl, nobody would know any different, and very often at school. I didn't want to sort of do anything about it until we felt that Jessica was in a, and the family was in a more stable place, and I thought uh, now's the, the time that I need to face and sort of be more true to myself, I guess. Yeah, I think it's made it a bit, e well, easier, because, I mean, Jessica's got somebody who understands more what the changes are going to be you know at least we know what sort of path she's going to be able to take in adult services that's quite important for us Why is it so important for people to see you as a girl and to treat you as a girl and to call you your girl's name? It's just that I feel more like a girl mm. and I don't really feel like a boy a lot. And what about sometimes people forget to treat you as a girl or call you by a girl's name? I get a bit annoyed and angry because I don't like it and I can't control my temper very well. Your parents have mentioned that sometimes you have some bad dreams about getting a bit older, is that right? What do you think about? Um, growing up as a boy, having a moustache and a beard. What do you think you could do possibly to stop that happening? Um, I'll get blockers. And they will pause that stop that from happening. The, did you mention that to the doctor about the blockers? What did the doctor say to you? Um, when you're older you can have them, maybe. But it's not, it's, it's quite a long way away, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But did that make you, how did that make you feel when the doctor said that? A bit happier. Close, that's all right. Ready, this is a hard one. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so when I met you, since I met you last year, your stepdad has now transitioned to being treated like a man. What, did you, what do you think about that? I think 
it's fine. And if he wants to be man, then he's allowed. Do you think you understand how he feels? Because you've transitioned too, in a different way, but you've transitioned too. Mm. I know um, what it feels like to um, not be called what you want to be called. If I were them, I'd be very upset. How much are you looking forward to the day when people don't talk about it anymore and just crack on with you being really? a girl? Really? Because I'm not going to end up being a boy forever because I will be a girl and I know that. Sometimes I didn't, it doesn't feel like that though. There have been lots of similarities with what your girls have experienced um, over the last few months, but quite a lot of differences as well. And the main thing for Lily is that she has now transitioned fully at school. She wears a girl's uniform, uh, she is called by a girl's name. What's that been like for you and your husband? It's been a big year. Um, shortly after we did the filming uh, last time, um, Lily, you know, well, uh, said to us that she wanted to live properly as a girl and wanted to start wearing skirts at school. So that was start, that was really the start of a really long journey for us. I think sort of through last year, we had a lot of meetings with the school, uh, really to help to plan the transition. I think really it's called a social transition. How apprehensive were you on skirt day? I mean, Lily, going in wearing that uniform, you you. You had no idea what the reaction from her classmates, what from the rest of the school, the rest of the pupils would be. Yeah, um, it was an emotional time. The run-up to it, I, f I felt emotional. I f it, uh, there's those feelings of the end of the little boy, I guess. It felt like a really important day, an official day that that boy is no more and now we are having a girl. It, it felt really important that you day. You emotional now just talking about it. It was, yeah, it was. It's a, it's a big decision and you, none of us mm. take that decision lightly. And you, the last time we spoke, that was already happening with Jessica. What has happened since then in the last few months in terms of Jessica at school? Um, she's, she, well, it's, I guess life has kind of just become a little bit more normal in a sense, hasn't it? Mm. I mean, after the initial, like you say, when you transition at school, um, it's all very up in the air, you're very worried, but then it just sort of settled down um, to be kind of like a normal way of life. Everyone was really supportive. I know she's been having some nightmares about, as she said, growing, growing a beard, growing a moustache. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, she's been, I mean, she's been down to me a few times after she's gone to bed. She's woken up and she's come down to see me. Um, in floods of tears and very reluctant to talk to me about it initially, saying that I can't help her and there's nothing that I can do. Um, and then try, I've just coaxed it out of her um, and just, you know, try to reassure her. I think with kids as well, they, they think it's going to happen instantly. So One morning she's going to wake up with a beard. Absolutely, she's going to wake up and that's going to be it. Uh, it's all going to have happened. Um, it's all sort of beyond her control. When we got together a year ago, your girls drew pictures of how they saw themselves. How would you describe Jessica now? Um, she's, she's struggling a little bit, but yeah. she's still a typical, typical nine-year-old. Yeah girl stays in a room, listens to a Rihanna CDs quite loud, singing along, <laughs> playing with her dolls. Yeah. Um, but she's having ups and down, up and down days at the minute. But we're, we're getting Which is difficult to um, watch, isn't it? Yeah. Perhaps hormones are kicking in a little bit early. Is that affecting her? Is she thinking more about mm. the future? Is it worrying her? And of course, you know, kids are kids and they don't always talk to you and tell you. Um, you know, how that's, they feel. That's tough, that's tough for you too. Mm. Mm. 
And the same question to you, how is Lily now? I think Lily's a bit younger than um, Jessica. Um, she's not yet thinking about puberty and the future. I think she's got an inkling about blockers and things like that, but she's not asked questions, not talked about it. But I think that's her character. I think if there's any ever something difficult to talk about, she doesn't want to talk about it, mm -hmm. um, which I think is just how she is. So I think she's just, at the moment, she's just happy, I think, yeah. There have been changes in your life since we met a year ago. Yes. Um, you have transitioned to living as a man. Yep. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I've pretty much felt the same as Jessica, um, but didn't really understand or know about um, this until I researched what was going on with Jessica. And then, of course, I instantly knew myself. When we were talking a year ago, when we were chatting back then, I remember asking you, two women in a relationship, I wonder if that's, you know, do people think that's influenced somehow your boy to want to live as a girl, to be treated as a girl? Um, and I think you said that somebody had talked about you'd conditioned them. Some might see the fact that you have now transitioned from a woman to, to, to a man, that that, well, that, that's proof, that's how you influence Jessica. I, would, uh, so I think if it was the other way around, I think if um, Alex had transitioned first and then Jessica, mm. I would think it, it was an influence. But because it's been Jessica transitioning first and then Alex, um, I, uh, I mean, I, I haven't come across anybody that has said anything that we've influenced um, no. Jessica. Yeah. It's really hard to know how much people really understand this issue and I think unless you've been there as a parent uh, and you've got a child who just is in the wrong gender and is in the wrong body and you've lived with them every day and you hear what they say and you, you see how they behave and how they act it's really hard for people I think to understand that. And, well I remember and, uh, saying yeah. to you all a year ago there are people who say your children are too young to know yeah. What, what, yeah. how they want to live it's you know some people even now having seen your children last year and and 12 months on they'll still be saying mm. it's just a phase yeah uh, and i think we, we realize people think that and we know yeah. it's hard to understand but you just um, can't act for that long if it is a phase this has been going on for a long time now and mm. you can't be something you're not for that long this is a medical condition this is not a choice this is just how people are born and how children are born. And you can hear the adults that are going through transition in adulthood say they knew from that very early age and we're just trying to support our children at that young age so they can have longer of their life to, to be who they want to be or who be who they are. Yeah. Mm.